Hello everyone. Welcome to MJ Hobby Corner. Well, today I have something a little different. I want to uh, make this aware uh, here on my channel since I have a platform. It's a small platform, but I might as well report it here as well. As you guys know, I've, uh, I'm online. Uh, my information, a lot of my information is public. And uh, this morning I received a, an email that was uh, disguised to be an email from PayPal. And I do have a PayPal account. And so in this email, there was like a, a report of a very big charge, something like 700, over $700. And uh, so I naturally uh, became alarmed and I went to my PayPal account. Uh, there was a number on this website and I made the mistake of calling this number because it looked so legit. And when I did that, I got in touch with someone. Something seemed a little off, and I'm usually a very suspicious person, but uh, something seemed a little off. But I went ahead and, and reported it, and, and uh, you know, as the person had me there, he then said uh, he tried to, uh, like, get, you know how uh, when you're trying to help somebody, on the computer, let's say a tech support, they try to get into your screen and that kind of thing to uh, try and help you with whatever problem there is. Uh, well, this person uh, tried to do that and asked me for a little bit of information uh, and I still didn't catch on until the person asked me to uh, download this program. Uh, the quick assist was not coming in, it was buffering, fortunately. However, Again, I made the mistake as I'm uh, talking to this person, my alarms didn't go off yet. Uh, and uh, f finally the person asked me, well, download this program. When that occurred, something did click in my head. I said, hmm. So the, the app was called AnyDesk, okay? And <laughs> so it, w when I clicked on it, which again is another mistake, this conversation should have ended right away my ip address came up and then windows gave me a warning do you want you know do you want to share the same blah blah blah, blah. and it, it gave me a uh warning as to you know people can see your information and this and that so when that happened that's when finally it clicked right because i'm i'm here thinking about the 722 dollar charge and I'm thinking, oh my God, I gotta cancel this immediately. Somebody's gotten into my PayPal. Well, no, what they're trying to do is get you to download the app so that when you give them permission, then they get everything from your computer, you know? Uh, so it's an identity theft uh, tool, basically. And so it, fortunately, that's when things clicked. I shut everything down. I uh, got off the phone. I had to go back into my PayPal. I reported, uh, forwarded a copy of the email to uh, phishing at paypal.com. And uh, so if you ever have this problem, send the email right over there and then they'll work with uh, law, law enforcement in order to investigate and see, you know, uh, what's going on. And so, uh, after that, I had to call my internet uh, service provider, alert them of the problem and see if there was anything, like if they had my IP address, you know, what's going to happen and all this other stuff. So fortunately, not a problem. The IP address can easily be changed. Uh, they do have a pretty tight security uh, measure uh, there, but at least I reported it to my internet service provider. And I'm also, I also uh, called my bank and there may need to be, uh, you know, just to report it. And there may also need to be some changes here. It's a major pain in the ass. So then I decided to call the uh, supposed uh, place where this purchase was made. It is a gun store. Uh, it is a veteran-owned institution. And as soon as I call, there there is a message there that says, "Look, if you're if you're calling in reference to a PayPal charge, we don't deal with PayPal. So it's a scam. You know, right then and there." So I, I felt like an idiot. Um, you know, these are things that I should have done before rather than communicating with this person. Fortunately, I was able to cut things up, uh, cut things before 
I actually let this person into my computer, but it's so dangerous. And, you know, I have a YouTube platform and I, I see this as a responsibility to report it. And, you know, even my, myself, like I said, I'm usually a very suspicious person and I was caught. I, I you know, just seeing that charge on my PayPal freaked me out instead of trying to look at it and say, damn, let me check this out first. You can be sure it's not gonna happen to me again. Uh, this is the second time. The, the first time was a similar a thing, but it, it, they did it a little differently, and that was years ago. Uh, this one was very, uh, was a bit more sophisticated, but the warning signs are there. So I wanna make it public, and uh, you know, if you see this kind of thing, you know right away that it's a scam. And I should have. I should have. But uh, at least I reported it. I, I did everything in, in my means that I could. And I'm making it public so that people know that these bastards are out there. It came out as a very official email. Now, if you look at the email address, which is something I should have done at the very beginning, and I didn't, and that's a mistake. Look at where it's coming from, too. Those kinds of things can be very useful to tell you right away, you know. Uh, so it, I fell for it uh, very stupidly, but I was fortunately, my flags did go off, uh, hopefully early enough that I was able to cut all that and then made all the reports, necessary reports to PayPal and to um, my internet service provider. And they also gave me some more advice in case things happen while I'm working on the computer, uh, suspicious pop-ups or things like that, how to get out of them, how to clean them up and all that. And now I'm writing, um, um, doing a lot of antivirus software on my computer as well uh, and deleted some configuration files from that app uh, it's called any desk. So do not trust any of these things. All right. So I just wanted to make it known to my subs uh, and just be safe out there. The Internet is a crazy freaking place. And it is uh, a learning experience for me, for us here to be a lot more careful uh, being public online. So. All right, folks, uh, have a good one. And uh, yep, uh, this is just a uh, little message to alert people and uh, be safe. We'll talk very soon. We'll talk in the next video. Hopefully, uh, unfortunately, this is going to take a good part of the day. I was working on MJ Scratch Builder monthly. Uh, and unfortunately, I had to stop all that work to take care of this. This is very important. So, uh, yeah, we'll talk on MJ Hobby Talk. That will end the month. And uh, thank you, folks. And please, please be safe out there.